Banana Rush Red Velvet, the cupcakes from Mopuis Bakery in Denville, are delicious. I, I, I was dumbfounded. Owners Adrian and Christine Allen brought a couple dozen cupcakes home with them Wednesday night to donate to a nearby soup kitchen the next morning. I'm a baker. I bring home cupcakes for my family all the time. They left them in the car, parked in their driveway. Doors were locked, windows rolled up, so the couple thought no big deal and went to sleep. So we kind of heard like a crunch, crunch sound. A noise woke them up at 2 a.m. and through the bedroom window, they saw a bear, a frequent sight in their woodsy neighborhood. Neighborhood. This one was in the backyard a couple weeks ago, so the couple wasn't too alarmed. I checked and our garbage was fine. So I was like, you know what, we'll deal with it in the morning. Let's go back to sleep. But in the morning, their car window was broken and sugary paw prints were all over the hood. The car seats dragged out of the car. It's at the side. The window smashed. The two dozen cupcakes gone. Their plastic containers empty. And he managed to open each container and polish it off. Sometimes you'll see the garbage, you know, neighbor's garbage maybe knocked over or something, but not like breaking in, breaking in a window. They called animal control, but the bakers are animal lovers and told them they don't want to harm the bear. After all, they said he does have good taste. They gave me some great tips, like to get a blowhorn. And instead of getting mad, the bakers got inspired, creating a brand new cupcake instead. While the bakers are flattered this bear finished every last crumb, they hope he's more of a one-time customer and say they won't be leaving any more food in their car anytime soon. From Denville, New Jersey, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Wow, bear would not be denied. No, a commemorative cupcake now in his That's honor. That's right, forever. <laughs> Very nice. The forever bear.